And out of the darkness, the zombie did call. Hello and welcome back. So, uh, first let's start with Happy New Year, guys um, and girls. Uh, everybody who's subscribed and everybody that uh, watches my videos. Um, thank you guys for an awesome 2016. Uh, <laughs> it's been a wild ride. Uh, never would have thought that we'd end up where we're at here. Uh, but at any rate, um, this is just really cool because um, the first package that I got um, in the mail from another picker was Zombie. And, of course, this is going to be the last package of the year <laughs> of 2016. And I got it from Zombie. So, just kind of worked out kind of neat that way. But at any rate, um, yeah, I just wanted to thank everybody for an awesome 2016. I've made some amazing friends over this. Uh, well, let's see, I started the channel about 10 months ago. So, um, it's, been, it's been an awesome 2016. And 2017 is going to be even more awesome. So... Uh, I really appreciate all the new subscribers I've gotten, all the guys who've been watching my videos since day one. I appreciate those guys too. So, um, and of course all the guys that I trade locks with, um, my fellow pickers. Uh, but at any rate, uh, this is about zombies package. He sent me some locks, um, and, uh, he always sends me some stock locks and that's, uh, much appreciated because I do make quite a few challenge locks, but, uh, speaking of challenge locks, yeah, zombies starting to make them. Um, I don't know if he included any in this package. He said he was kind of busy, but, uh, once he does start making them, I know he's going to send something out to me. So I'm looking forward to that too. Uh, but I do know that, uh, zombie said he's going to start making some challenge locks. So that'll be awesome. But let's see what he put in this one. Uh, let's see if I can do it this way. There we go. All right, there we go. And let's see here. All right. <laughs> there we go. Looks like we have that out of the way. Usually he puts the stock locks in a bag, which it looks like he did, and we'll go through those. And looks like I got plenty of challenge locks too, so that'll be awesome. Um, let's go through these real quick, see what he sent stock-wise. See what the new batch of challenge locks from Pick Me is going to look like. Um, let's see. <laughs> wow. I think he sent me a picture of this one. This is a... Um, it's a quick set, but it's a uh, um, it's a different kind of cylinder there. I don't remember. I don't know. Maybe he did or maybe he didn't. But anyway, that's uh, it's very unique. It's got a funky Bible on it, so that's kind of neat. Uh, I love Schlegs for uh, um, challenge locks. And heck, I don't even have to change the bidding on that one. That looks like everything needs to be picked. That'll be a good one. All right. Um, that's unique. Another one of those uh, KW ones that's got that weird Bible on it. Uh, let's see another quick set. Wow, this is actually a. It's got something written on it. Well, I think it says quick set on it. Can't read it very well though. Um, another quick set. <laughs> Not very great bidding on that. <laughs> <laughs> Typical quick set weirdness. Um, got another one of those funky cylinders, so that'll work. And a Curtis. Um, another quick set, KW1, so that'll work. Um, ooh, that's kind of a pretty quick set. That'll be fun. <laughs> I like that. I don't know. I just like the the tarnished look to them. Um, boy, that one's been <laughs> painted. As a, that one had a life. Uh, another quick set. Looks like, uh, oh, okay, we got a Yale. All right. And that actually says TMK on it. I don't know what that's about, but, um, I think it's a challenge lock because it was in the bag. And another one of those quick sets with that tarnished look. I don't, I don't know. I just like them. I know they're cheap, but <laughs> I like the look of them. But that's what the, uh, 
all the stock locks and uh, the new batch of challenge locks are going to look like. Uh, probably use some of those. All right, let's get to these. These are the fun ones. These are the challenge locks. Okay, I'm already seeing some awesomeness here because um, I see a tag there. Bobby Keys, uh, 11 20 of 2016. Uh, that's a Schlage. That'll be awesome. I have not picked a Bobby Keys. I'm looking forward to that. He just started making his challenge locks. Um, I've traded with him, um, but I made the trade before he started making them. Um, so, but we're gonna, I'm sure we'll make some more trades in 2017, uh, uh, and, uh, get, get, uh, get some pinned, uh, pinned up, uh, fresh that nobody else has picked, but, uh, um, like I said, that'll be awesome, looking forward to that, um, as it turns out, I picked up another one by him, awesome, another pinned by Bobby Keys, has a key, wow, that's smooth too, um, decent bidding on it. That'll work. Yeah, key works really good on it too. Um, let's see, we got a wick set here. Uh, pinned by Bronx Lock Picker 60. This is uh, Funky Town. So that's awesome. It says no key, but <laughs> well, this is a lock picking video, so not a uh, key turning video. So that works out well. Um, yeah, he makes some awesome locks too. I traded with him. In fact, I think I was his first trade. So that's awesome. I uh, got a Trekmaster 30. Good luck. Uh, you know, um, and this one's pinned by or uh, picked by Red Eye and Zombie. And I think he, um, I think he said he made. And this is that beautiful Corbin Russ one with a restricted keyway. Um, I remember this because um, he just commented recently on one of these um, that he made. I think three of these, and I know he sent one to me. And I think he sent the other one to Red Eye. And I don't know who he sent the other one to. And then he has a fourth one that he's going to pin up. So, but I know I've picked one of those, the one he sent to me. So this will be awesome. I'll get to pick another one. It's Corbin Russell. It's real smooth, too. Um, pretty interesting bidding there. Really low on everything. So, but uh, looking forward to that, too. That'll be awesome. Let's see here. We got another. Bronx Lock Picker 60, Ideal Security. It's the name of the lock. <laughs> and uh, it is the name of the lock maker. Uh, uh, the, there we go. But it is a uh, quick set KW1. So, um, But they make really, wow, that's dang near zero bitted. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, look at that. That means everything has to be picked. <laughs> well, if you're like me and just, I only single pin pick. I don't really rake. So, um, you could probably rake that because it's pretty rakeable uh, with those. Uh, I got a rustling here. Do we have a key for a rustling? We do. We have a beautiful rustling key. Awesome. Love those dragons. <laughs> I have a thing about dragons anyway, so that's that's my thing. But uh, it's a Trekmaster 30. W equals winning. So, that'll be a fun one. Love Trekmaster 30s. I've traded with him, and he makes some awesome locks. Looks like we have... Is this part of the stock? Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> well, it, it's probably a stock lock, but it's a, <laughs> it's a Cabo Peaks. So that's awesome. Nice. Sweet. Um, I have picked a Cabo Peaks. In fact, I think I got the first Cabo Peaks that I picked from, uh, from Zombies. So that's, that'll be awesome. Um, these are always fun. Great tolerances in those. And just awesome locks all the way around. Uh, we have an M-Tech key. That would have to be this right here, okay? Because that's a, like a Schleg style keyway, and it's a Trekmaster 30 Shimmit. So uh, I think that's the name of the lock, Shimmit. So <laughs> uh, probably have to Shimmit once we. Uh, but it looks like a little five pinner, so that'll be all right. Uh, but with Trekmaster 30, a five pin lock can be pretty rough. <laughs> so um, then we have a quick set pinned by Bronx Lock Picker 60. Um, who knows? Uh, I've picked a lot of, I picked a lot of quick set Bronx Lock Picker 60s that, in fact, huh, I don't know. That almost looks like my handwriting. So this one may have made, made full circle. Um, because when he first sent these out, he didn't, um, he didn't tag them. And this looks like one of the tags I put on there. So I think, I don't know, almost looks like my handwriting. 
All right. Anyway, um, and then a quick set. And I don't know, maybe this was part of the stock lock. Huh? I don't know. No tag or anything on it. So and no tags just laying around. So this is probably one of those one of the stock ones. Feels very smooth. The challenge is to get the key out there, right? Okay, yeah. But it's got really good bidding on it. Um I don't know if it's a challenge lock or not. It does not say anything on it anywhere. Uh, but anyway, we'll just set it over here and we'll figure it out. Um, I'll move all of the uh, ch challenge locks to their special spot here. Actually, I'll put them in a bucket here shortly. But uh, I got to pick something out of the package. And we're already at 10 minutes, so expect a long video, guys. Um, but it is New Year's Eve, so yeah, what of it? Well, you know, had a lot to cover. <laughs> um, you know, I have not picked a Bobby Keys, and there's one sitting right here, so we have got to try a Bobby Keys lock. <sighs> Looking forward to it. Um, here is the bidding on that key. Pretty good bidding. Um, you know, we'll put it in the vise at the Schlag and see what we got here. Um, I love the package openings um, and doing locks out of the package because all of the locks that I pick, unless I say otherwise, are the first time I've played with them. But nobody really, you know, there's it's just completely obvious when I do it right out of the package. You guys see it. You know what I mean? Um, you know, I we all kind of go off of honesty here, but but I mean, it's as honest as you get when you just pick one out of a package. So, you know, Red Eye always said, and he was the second package I actually got in, but he always says, keep it real. And well, honestly, it doesn't get any more real than picking one right out of the package. So um, I am, I just went naturally to my 50,000s for a Schlage and old trusty here. So um, I just <laughs> didn't tell you what I was grabbing because, uh, well, kind of, Figured you guys should know by now. Let's zoom in and uh, see what we got here. Um, let's see if I can get a good focus on that. There we go. And I'll do what I always do, which is start in the back of the lock. But, you know, I could start at the front, but I'm not going to. Um, and search for binder. Usually the reason why I think I start at the back of the lock is because I pull the pin. I pull the uh, pick across the pins and find the binder. Like in this case, it's two. Okay, and I got to click off of him. And I go back to the back and check again. Four was binding. I got to click on him. Three. Counter. Got to click on him. Two again. Oof, that didn't feel good. I may have overset. Now I'm getting counter on three. Got to click off of him. Okay. I'm going to feed back on the way. But maybe I did overset a little bit. Let's find out here. Either that or we're fighting a T pin. Oh, nope. <laughs> Well, I got it open off of, uh, I don't know if that was two or three. It was somewhere towards the front of the lock. All right. Um, there you go. Let's uh, zoom out, and we will gut this. What we got here? That key separate. Let's put these out of the way. Let's get the pinning tray out. Uh, sometimes that's just the way it works. Uh, follow the feedback until the lock opens. That's what I always say, and that's how I play the game. It always seems to work, and I like it. <sighs> All right. Um, get you guys squared up a little bit better here. Uh, Schleg, so I do have a Schleg tool. I have a key, so if I lock it back up, it's not the end of the world, but I don't really want to, so I'm actually going to put my pick in there. I'm not going to lock it upside down. I <laughs> learned my lesson on that one. Um... But I am going to hang on to it. Put my pick in there and turn this thing off. There we go. There we go. That worked out well. Turn this out. Set that in seven. Has a pin with a spring. 
All right, then we have a shim because it is a lock, challenge lock, and we don't know what's in it. So that taken care of. Maybe. Ooh. It's always nasty when you don't when you can't even get a shim in it. <laughs> okay, I got these ultra thin ones that I'm gonna try. Um, I got it in a package from Bronx Lock Picker 60, actually. Um, and I forgot I had them, but it is really, really thin. I don't know if I'm going to be able to use it or not. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Ultra, ultra thin works. Okay, awesome. Um, just happened to find that today and thought about it. Um, all right, we will, uh, pins are up. And let's get them through. There we go. Five pinner. Here's the key. Oh, I'm seeing some nastiness already. All right. As you can see, get this to focus. There we go. As you can see, it looks like uh, one and three are T pin key pins, and uh, all kinds of goodness and going on in there. So we're gonna dump these, and I'll go over them. I'll just go ahead and dump them and not call them. But wow, those are beautiful. Bobby, you've been doing some work, man. <laughs> awesome. You've been putting that Dremel to awesome work there. Wow, those are cool, man. Um, all right, come on, folks. There we go. Hopefully, you guys can see it. Looks like one, two, three, and four are threaded. And then five is countermilled. So... Great job on the core there, man. Um, again, like I said, this is the first uh, Bobby Keys lock I've picked, so um, it'll be awesome. Um, that's a really good job. I want to make sure I go over this lock really well since uh, it is the first one I've ever done with his. Uh, man, those are some good-looking pins. Awesome job on those, man. All right. In uh, driver one, we have a beautiful spool. That is awesome, man. Um, and that's the way it came out. I'm going to get these pins out, and then I'll go back and get the three. Uh, then we have in two. If that's a pin and pin, it is. Awesome. Oh, come on. Pop around on me. It's a uh, pin and pin with a serrated collar. Really nice looking. And it works as a T-pin, too, because that pin sticks out the bottom of the collar. In fact, before I zoom in on that, uh, put it back together. That's the way that came out. It's a spool with a serrated on top. Beautiful. Nice sharp pins, too. Um, man, I'll tell you what. Oh, deep, deep spool. Six. Or, I mean, five, excuse me. Immediately go to six. Is just a serrated, but man, he's one hell of a sense. <laughs> really sharp serrations. Awesome, awesome pin. Um... Just a really good looking lock pins here, man. Um, what I'm gonna do is if I get these to come out one at a time. And one, we had a copper, two, we have a copper. Oh. Um, I think it was probably a steel, and the other one was a copper. Four steel. Five is copper. Yeah, that's why I thought that. Because probably just did it every other one. Um, I'll look at Zombie's video and find out. I'm sure he picked it. Um, in the Bible, it looks like it is completely smooth. So, nothing going on up the stairs. But, there's enough going on with these pens, man. Let me tell you what. Um, that's pretty freaking awesome, man. Uh, let's zoom in for, for you guys show what these awesome awesome pins look like there we go and one we had a t-pin key pin with a spool um then we have a spool serrated very sharp serrations on that pin with a copper spring and two we have a double spool key pin very very sharp uh top then we have a pin and pin serrated uh which kind of works as a t-pin as well uh, awesome, awesome pin there, man. Great job on that with a steel spring. Then we have a uh, serrated 
awesome sharp serrations T-pin key pin with a spool and uh, two serrations up top. Very sharp on every bit of that. That is awesome, man. Great job on that pin. I like that one. Um, and then a uh, copper spring. And we have uh, two serrations, nice deep serrations on the key pin. And a deep, deep spool there with a steel spring. And we have a deep spool key pin with a heavily serrated, awesome looking pin. Uh, in pin uh, driver five with a uh, copper spring. Um, again, like I said, all the uh, plug there, we had uh, uh, threading in one, two, three, and four, and five was counter milled. So just amazing. Great job on this lock, Bobby Keys. Thank you for making it. Zombie, thank you so much for this lock and all the locks you sent me. Um, and uh, thank you guys for watching. Happy New Year's, and don't break the law.